Okay, I guess this is working. So, how about that? I can see myself and see what I'm doing. Stove the microphone. Is that right, Katie? Huh? Huh? Is that right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's time to cook some dinner. So, here we go. First things first, though. I need some beer. What is this shit? <laughs> oh, now what? Hmm. I'm going to have to do a little thing here. However, I know that I have at least one of the necessary ingredients, which is beer. So let's get some beer. One, two, three. All right here. Four. I think that's right. Okay, great. So, four different kinds. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to use my engineering background in thermodynamics. And I am going to have myself cold beer in five minutes. Five minutes, how do you say that works? Well, it's pretty easy. The beer is warm and you have to cool it down. And what you're going to do is use ice to do that. Okay. Ice has a nice property. It's frozen. What frozen means is that it is in a solid state. If I cause it to change states by and, and do it quickly, do it more quickly, that means that it will use the latent heat of fusion to change from ice at 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit to water at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, no change in temperature, but it takes heat to melt that ice. And the heat source is the beer. Because beer is at a higher temperature. And now what we do is make sure that now we have a temperature difference, uh, so that heat will transfer from hot to cold, meaning uh, that is the second law of thermodynamics. Um, uh, we now have to maximize the way the, the, the uh, way that heat transfer uh, occurs. So I said five minutes, so let's start. Five minutes. I can talk a little bit while the five minutes is going. There we go. Five minutes. <coughs> okay. So, as I was saying, the uh, uh, um, ob object now that we have uh, this uh, water bath set up is uh, to maximize the uh, amount of heat transfer. And you do this by arranging the beer in like a cross pattern to let the water circulate and get as much uh, surface area contact with the uh, warmer liquid inside. And if you notice, there are also cans. Cans are a better conductor of heat, uh, so uh, it means they'll chill faster. And uh, that uh, uh, should uh, that should do it. Some uh, folks uh, put ice uh, or put uh, salt in the uh, uh, ice, and that causes it to melt faster. So it actually lowers the temperature, lowers the melting point, and uh, causes it to uh, melt faster. So um, the uh, uh, at a colder temperature. So uh, uh, that's one way to get a, 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 a higher temperature differential. But I'm I'm a kind of a natural guy. I don't like the uh, uh, idea of salt, uh, and I don't like uh, the idea of, uh, you know, uh, messing up the water, having to toss it instead of watering a meaty plant, or worse, getting salt in my beer. So, we have four minutes and counting. I hope you, everybody sees four minutes and counting, and then uh, we'll uh, see what happens in uh, five minutes. Or four minutes, I should say. see how it goes. So, first thing we do is test a result-oriented person. It says 76, 75, what does it say? 71, 70, 70, 69, 70. <laughs> All right, let's have a uh, Blondale, there we go. Okay, so 
71 degrees, 71 degrees. Let's see what this is. It's 54, 53, 54, 52, <laughs> 53. All right, that's better than 71. Hey, by the time you finish the first one, the rest will be a third. Minute, the rest will be perfect. So, do this now. Well, do this now. It's a really uh, uh, quick way of getting cold beer fast.